King George Island, a frozen world of science. Hello, adventure lovers. Today, we are taking a journey to King George Island in Antarctica. This icy place is one of the busiest areas in Antarctica, even though it's not a real city. Scientists from many countries come here to study, making it very important. Let's explore why this island is so special. Where is King George Island? King George Island is part of Antarctica, the coldest and windiest place on Earth. It is the biggest island in a group called the South Shetland Islands. These islands are near the top of the Antarctic Peninsula. King George Island is about 120 kilometers long and 1,150 square kilometers in size. How do you get there? Getting to King George Island is not easy. By plane, most people arrive by flying to Teniente R. Marsh Airport, which is mostly used by scientists. By boat, some cruises that travel to Antarctica stop at King George Island. Visiting Antarctica takes a lot of planning and costs a lot of money. You cannot just buy a plane ticket and go. Most visitors come as part of organized tours or science teams. Why is King George Island special? King George Island is important for many reasons. Scientific research. Many countries have research stations on the island. Because of this, it's sometimes called the Antarctic United Nations. Gateway to Antarctica. It's one of the easiest places to reach in Antarctica, so many expeditions start here. Wildlife. Even though it's very cold, you can find many animals on the island. Ice-free land. Some areas on the island are not covered by ice all the time, making them perfect for research. International cooperation. Scientists from all over the world work together on this island. Research stations. The island has many research stations where scientists live and work. These are like small villages, and each country focuses on different studies. Here are some of the stations. Chile's Presidente Eduardo Frey Base. This is the biggest station, with around 150 people living here during the summer. It even has a small village called Villa Las Estrellas. China's Great Wall Station. Built in 1985, this station studies the ocean, glaciers, and weather. Russia's Bellingshausen Station. Open since 1968, it is named after a famous Russian explorer. Argentina's Carlini Base. This station focuses on studying life in the Antarctic Ocean. South Korea's King Sejong Station. Opened in 1988, scientists here study marine biology and weather. Brazil's Comandante Faraz Station. This station was rebuilt after a fire in 2012 and studies climate change. Poland's Henryk Arktowski Station. Researchers here, here study penguins and other birds. Uruguay's Artigas Base. Uruguay's main station, working since 1984. Animals on King George Island. Even though it's cold, you can find a lot of animals on King George Island. Penguins. You can see three types of penguins here. Gentoo, Chinstrap, and Adeli penguins. They live in large groups, swimming and walking around the island. Seals. There are different types of seals like Weddell seals and elephant seals, relaxing on the beaches or ice. Birds. Many seabirds live on the island, including skuas, petrels, and terns. Whales. The waters around the island are home to many whales, like humpback whales and orcas. Plants. There aren't many plants, but you can find some grass and tiny flowering plants in the ice-free areas. The weather on King George Island. The weather on the island is cold all year. Summer, December to February, the warm time of year, but temperatures are still around 2 to 5 degrees. Winter, June to August, very cold, with temperatures below minus 10 degrees Celsius and almost no sunlight. Spring and autumn, the weather changes quickly, with daylight increasing or decreasing. There's a lot of snow, but it can rain during the summer. The wind is strong all year, making it feel colder than it actually is. What can you do on King George Island? Visiting King George Island is not like a regular holiday. Activities are limited to protect the environment. However, visitors can enjoy watching wildlife. Seeing penguins, seals, and birds in their natural habitat is a big highlight. Visiting research stations. Some stations allow visitors to learn about the work scientists are doing. Zodiac cruises. Small boat trips around the island let you see icebergs and wildlife up close. Photography. 
the icy landscapes are perfect for taking beautiful photos. Learning. On some tours, you can attend talks about Antarctic history and science. Hiking. There are a few safe hiking paths, but visitors must follow strict rules to protect the environment. Fun facts about King George Island. Antarctica's only hotel. The Chilean station has simple guest rooms that feel like a hotel, but it's mostly for visitors or scientists. Church in Antarctica. The Russian Orthodox Church of the Holy Trinity is the southernmost church in the world. Babies in Antarctica. Some countries have had babies born on the island, so the children can say they were born in Antarctica. Named after a king. The island is named after King George III of England. Antarctic Marathon. The island hosts one of the most extreme marathons in the world. Weddings in Antarctica. Some couples have even had their weddings here. Protecting Antarctica. Antarctica is protected by international agreements. The most important is the Antarctic Treaty, which protects the environment and encourages scientific research. Some rules for visitors include, do not harm animals. You cannot disturb or hurt any wildlife. Keep Antarctica clean. Visitors must take all their trash with them when they leave. Respect special areas. Some areas are protected and off limits. No souvenirs. It is illegal to take anything from Antarctica, even rocks or feathers. Stop invasive species. Strict rules stop people from bringing non-native animals or plants to Antarctica. These rules help protect the land and the animals for future generations. Why is research in Antarctica important? The studies done on King George Island and other parts of Antarctica help us learn about climate change. Antarctica's ice and weather patterns are important for understanding how the global climate is changing. Wildlife. Studying animals in extreme environments helps scientists understand how they survive. Geology. The rocks in Antarctica show clues about Earth's ancient history. Astronomy. The clear skies and long nights are perfect for studying the stars. Ocean life. The surrounding ocean is unique, and studying it helps us understand how oceans work. Human health. Scientists also study how living in extreme cold affects the human body and mind. Conclusion. King George Island is not a regular city, but it's an amazing place where scientists from many countries come to study. It's one of the most interesting places in the world because it shows us how humans can work together in one of the hardest environments on Earth. Visiting King George Island is a rare experience. It's a chance to see a place that is still wild and untouched, learn about important science, and appreciate the beauty of our planet's last wilderness. The island is a reminder of how important it is to protect our environment and work together for the future.